From the KTC Newsroom, I'm Marcel Fontenot. This is a look at headlines for this Friday, March 12th. It's a big weekend for runners in Lafayette. Happening this week in the Zydeco Marathon will be running through the city. Participants will hit the pavement for the 5K tomorrow and for the full and half marathon Sunday. Several areas of the city will be blocked off for the event. Organizers say the race on Sunday will start downtown and follow the same path as years previous. On Sunday morning at 7 a.m., we'll be down here starting the race and doing our normal course through St. Streets, uh, UL, Gerard Park, Bendel Gardens, and come on and cheer the people out as they finish the race. Our, on our website, there is a link where you can still sign up for the races and check out the maps for each one as well. Another weekend reminder for you, tomorrow is the last day of early voting for the March 20th election. You can cast your early ballot at your Paris Registrar of Voters office and other locations from 8.30 until 6 Saturday. In other news tonight, the former director of the St. Landry Parish Animal Control Center is facing charges. Stacey McKnight is accused of theft and malfeasance in office. The investigation started in October of last year when deputies looked into the thefts of livestock, files and parish property. Deputies say McKnight admitted to taking several items from the center. Brobridge police say Gerald Mouton is facing charges after a months long investigation into sex trafficking. He's accused of trafficking children, carnal knowledge of a juvenile and soliciting minors to distribute drugs. While indoor visits at long term care facilities are now allowed with two exceptions. Indoor events won't be allowed in parishes with a positivity rate higher than 10% of COVID and if less than 70% of residents are fully vaccinated. The State Department of Health says since restrictions were relaxed in October, the visitation program has gone well. Plus, there's the added safety of vaccinations. Well, turning to weather now, happy weekend, Rob. How's it looking for us out there? Well, if you like the weather over the last couple of days, more so, you're going to like the weekend forecast with a mixture of clouds and some sun. Fair to partly cloudy skies. Clouds will pile in by the morning. It's going to be another mild start, mid 60s. A passing shower, rain chance no higher than about 10% for our Saturday. Mostly cloudy, breezy, and warm. Upper 70s to near 80. All the action back to our north and west with big snows and some strong storms uh, into Texas. In Oklahoma, but for us, we're going to see the winds picking up Sunday, maybe a little bit more sun, a slightly better chance of a daytime shower or thunder shower. Then going into Sunday night and early Monday, rain chances sparking up as we have a frontal boundary getting close to us, but that front becomes stationary across the area. Near term, mostly cloudy skies, few intervals of afternoon sun for our Saturday, upper 70s to near 80. Much the same can be said for Sunday. There we go into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Rain chances is up early Monday, sometime Tuesday and into Wednesday, and that's going to be followed by cooler, drier air for the latter part of next week and into next weekend. That's it for weather and news. Thanks for joining us.